Dear students, from this lecture we are going to enter in a branch of physics named solid state physics. In this branch, the properties of solid have been discussed and explained. Students, you already know that in nature, the matter exists either in solid state or in fluid state. The solids have different shape and size. Let's come to our core content. Look at the figures. Each figure represents the two-dimensional solid. The dots of the figures represent the atom, molecules or group of atoms. In this figure, the atoms or molecules or group of atoms are arranged in a regular manner. Look. But in this figure, there is no regularities between its arrangement. So, we found from these two figures that there is the difference between the arrangement of the atom, molecules or group of atoms. And so, the solids divided into two categories. One of them is called crystalline solid and other is called amorphous solid. Therefore, in crystalline solid, the atoms, molecules or group of atoms are arranged in regular manner such as calcite, diamond, quartz, rock salt, etc. Again, in amorphous solid, there is no regular arrangement of atoms, molecules or group of atoms even though they are strongly bound to one another such as plastic, pitch, glass, etc. Because of the regularity in arrangement of atoms, molecules or group of atoms in crystal, it is easy to explain the various properties of crystalline solid than those of amorphous solid. Actually, we get the three dimensional solids in nature. But for simplicity, present here two dimensional figures.